Good morning and thank you for joining us for today's service at New Testament Bible Church. Let's join Pastor Malcolm Milam for today's message. All right, let us make our confession. Uh, I'm a chosen race. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. A consecrated nation. A consecrated nation. A special people for God's own possession. A special people for God's own possession. So that you. So that I. So that I. May proclaim the excellencies. May proclaim the excellencies. Wonderful deeds. Wonderful deeds. Virtues and perfections. Virtues and perfections. Of Him who called me. Of him who called me out of darkness, out of darkness. into his marvelous light. light. Alright, so our foundation scripture is found in 1 Kings, 1 Kings 2, uh, 1 through 4. And this would be the last discussion that we have uh, about man, these kids. Um, what we know, what we had been discussing for the last month uh, is the reign of David. David through the generation of David then we go to Solomon and then we go to Roboam. Uh, last week we had a discussion about Roboam tripping, listening to the wrong folks and we're going to have a discussion about him today. Uh, but remember what you guys think about this David David regardless of all the things that David had done, God made David a promise that as long as your kids did follow the precepts, and we're going to talk about that, follow the guidelines, that you will always have a kid on the throne. Right? Right? So here we go. 1 Kings 2. 1 Kings 2, 1 through 4. So when David's time to die approached, he gave instructions to Solomon, his son, saying, I'm going the way of all the earth as dust to dust. Now I'm reading from the Amplified. Be strong. Prove yourself a man. Keep the charge of the Lord your God. That is to fulfill your obligations. There are some obligations. There are some things. There are some items. There are some stuff that we should be doing as Christians. Obligations. Listen. He says, walk in his ways. Keep his statues his commandments, his precepts, and his testimonies that is written in the law of Moses. Right. So that you may succeed in everything that you do and wherever you turn. Mm -hmm. right. So that the Lord may fulfill his promises concerning me. This is David talking, saying, if your sons are careful, careful regarding their way of life, mm -hmm. to walk before me in truth, with all their heart and mind and with all their soul, you shall not fail wow. to have a man, a descendant, on the throne of Israel. So, again, we kind of know what went on. Yeah. Solomon started tripping. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. He began to tax the people. It's, it's amazing when you consider the things that we have going on today. Uh, the guy with all the money, it's like, okay, man, you got all the money, but you, you got you to gotta hoard all of it. Um, it's, it's, you see with Solomon wow. that all the stuff that he had, I man, he got caught up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so the people were paying taxes, paying higher taxes, mm -hmm. and then he was working them just crazy. They were like, man, wait a minute, we got everything. Mm -hmm. The wisest man on the earth. And he started tripping. See? But it's, it's, it's weird. Okay, we're going to talk about wisdom in a minute. So, some of our key terms. Some of our key terms, and, and I'm going to add one. I'm going to add one. Humility. So, humility is the freedom from pride and arrogance. A modest estimate of one's worth. Yes. Or a sense of unworthiness through imperfection or sinfulness. Lowliness, meekness. Remember, the scripture says, the meek shall inherit the earth. And the opposite of pride. Pride is slick. See? Pride will creep on in and you think you're doing what God tells you to do and it's really you. Whoa. So we got to be careful with pride. Whoa. Kids, pride, pride gets you busted in the mouth. 
It says, yeah. we may also regard as the root and the essence of sin. When I mean busting the mouth, it may get you busting the mouth by your parents. Right. Oh, yeah. And then if, oh, you, yeah. if, if you don't maneuver yourself the right way, uh -huh. you know, people can see you're acting in pride and arrogance, right? So just yeah. helping the kids out, keep your mouth from being swollen. It says, right. then the humble man does not attribute to himself any goodness or virtue. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the book of Proverbs. It says, go where people celebrate you. Mm. You think, is that, is, that, is that a proverb or that's a mountain bird? I see mom over there trying to, you oh. getting it? Is, my, is that mine? Is that, that's a good proverb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but well, never mind. It may not say in the book of Proverbs. Oh, yeah, the proverb. Yeah, 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 the proverb. It's pretty good. See? Yeah. Listen. Another word. Talking about pride, it says, pride is the state or quality of being proud or having an inordinate self-esteem. You can see it concerning one's own talent, ability, wealth, station in the world, a disdainful behavior. Pride is viewed as the root and the essence of sin. It is seeking for oneself the honor and the glory, the property, that are properly belong to God. Mm -hmm. Baby came right to the front. That's what I'm talking about. So, man, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk right in. That's okay, buddy. I would have went right through, find it. Hey, that's the fastest route. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Complacent. Complacent. Showing a smug. <laughs> or uncritical satisfaction with oneself or one's achievement. Wow. Uh, I, I've got a little note, stability. Um, when you look at all the items between David, Solomon, and Rehoboam, there, there's something to say about stability. Um, So everybody knows we live in Dallas and we were considering doing some moving around. And uh, Christian just looked like, man, so me in the, in the DFW area, baby. Golly, she looked like, hold on, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> so the DFW area and, and Elijah, we got to looking and he was like, dad, our house is pretty big. I said, yes, okay. And we looked at so he said, dad, we're okay. He kind of looked not like, you know, the more I think about it, son, we're fine. Well, it says something about being stable. Yeah, yeah. I want you guys to think about it. It says something about when you are a pillar in the community. It says something about when your kids ain't got to be switching schools all the time. And, you know, that's big. You know, you got to have, you got to create new friends. You got to go through all this stuff. But the, the stability, right? The How America is run, the Western culture, you know, you got to, Get a bigger one. You got to get another one. And it's like, man, we were just fine with that good old house that we were in. And that 30 year note, we didn't pay it off. Why go get another note? I guess I'm praying to talking to myself. All right. I get another note. Why? Get another 30 year. It'll be about, you know, see how much money you got. All right. Preaching to the choir. Advice. Advice. Advice is a form of relating personal, this is a new 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 uh, word, new term, is a form of relating personal or institutional opinion. Wow. Belief systems, this is key, values recommended or recommendations or guidance about certain situations relayed in some context, another person a group or a party. Listen. Advice, guidance, or recommendation offered with the regard to prudent future action. How many you know what prudent means? All right, one person raised hands. That's why I got the definition of prudent. Mm -hmm. Come on. Prudent, acting with or showing you feel satisfied with what you have. Whoa. Come on. So think about we're talking advice. Guidance or recommendation offered with the regard of prudent 
future action. Prudent. You might want more, but you perceive your current situation to be okay, to be workable, to provide you comfort and satisfaction. Think about the words that we've already said. Humility, complacency, talked about pride. Listen. It provides fulfillment. Consider the main areas of your life. Your relationship with God, your family, listen, your work, your relationships, your current situations, a care and a thought for the future. Now, we got to talk about prudent, having a discussion about advice. So think about the people who give you advice. Listen. Rollerball. Here we go with Rollerball. So, and these are just some aha things. I, I want to I circle back around. These are just some. Think about it. Uh, so, Solomon had 1,700, 700 wives, 300 in concubines. It was crazy. And this is, think about it, but watch this one. Out of all that stuff he did, he only was able to produce one heir. Mm. Wow. Then he was crazy. Mm. Yes. Think about it, y'all. 700 wives, wow. 300 in his concubine, the wisest man on the earth, full of understanding and knowledge, and this dude was only able to produce one heir. And his elevated in God to no. the top. Listen. Wisdom and understanding, kids, y'all listen. Wisdom and understanding is not inheritance. It don't run through your blood. So you can have great parents. You can have people who care for you, and you can be looney tunes. I want you guys to think about it. Wisdom and understanding is learned through life experiences and with wise counsel. And if you think you can handle this world without wise counsel, if you think you can handle this and you ain't got no understanding, there's prisons, there is situations in life that you be like, what have I done? Listen, guys. Your parents are the voice of God for you. And even if it don't make no sense, don't move. What I mean like don't move, don't move. Like hold on, let me reconsider this. If my mom or my dad or my person who gives me guidance says, hey man, you need to reconsider, it may not be the right, you, you may need to think about it. You may need to back off the decision. Again, the wisest man on the earth. With all understanding, he had one waterhead kid. Mm. That waterhead boy didn't know what he was doing. And messed up. Mm. Messed up. Mm. The 12 tribes. Mm. Messed up. Listen, watch. Man, you know when you get to read stuff over and over. Listen, guys, it is so important that you read the word over and over and over and over. You got to read it over and over and over. You got to be a student of the word. And it don't go just for the pastors. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Study yourself. Study to show yourself approved. Ain't just for me. Y'all right. need to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. But y'all better read it. Because, you know, you get some people get to talk. And be like, man, that don't make no sense. Right. Did Matthew just make up a proverb? That's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. I think it still was in there. I just didn't exactly. say the whole thing. <laughs> Listen. So, First Kings. 1 Kings, and we know what Royal Bone done. 1 Kings 12, 4 through 11. 1 Kings 12, 4 through 11.
Again, wisdom and understanding is not inherited. It is learned through life experience and wise character. Amen. Think about, do y'all know people, like what could they have been? Like what, what if they just went that way? You know, there's people in your life, there's people probably running through your head, you know, especially with athletes. Man, he could have been. She could have been. Oh, yeah. Listen. Uh, 1 Kings 12, 4 through 11 says, Your father made our yoke, our burden, heavy. Uh, so, let me, before I get into it, so this is the context. This is what's going on. So, Solomon has died. And now, Jeroboam, who left and went to Egypt because Solomon was going to kill him, <laughs> was the next successor, you know, that kingdom stuff. Like, man, I got to get rid of him because this is, this, is this is the guy who, they brought Jeroboam back from Egypt. So Jeroboam came and they went to Shechem. Um, which is about 30 miles west, north of Jerusalem. And so, Rohabon didn't want to go to Jerusalem, the, 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 the capital. He went to Shechem because he knew, man, it's going down over here. They finna, uh, I'm going to be coronated as king. And then the people came to him. And essentially, since your daddy did, this is what's going on. So your dad has died, and this is the people talking to him. So they say, your father made our yoke, our burden, heavy. So now, lighten the hard labor and the heavy yoke your father imposed on us, and we will serve you. Essentially, hey, man, we're working too hard for y'all. We got all this stuff, man. And please, Lord, these taxes. This is what they say. Rawbone replied to them, leave for three days, then come back to me for my decision. That's a wise decision. That's smart. Hey, man, go on. Let me think about this. Started off the right track. So the people left. King Rawbone consulted with the elders who had served and advised his fathers while he was still alive. How do you advise me? We talk about advice. To answer this people. There are certain translations that say he went to the old men. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all got that translation that say he went to the old men? The old men. Nobody got that translation? New living? Nothing? Okay, well he went to the old men. Alright? They spoke to him saying, If you will be a servant to this people today, and will serve them and grant their request and speak good words to them, they will be your servants forever. That's what the old man told him. Somebody said, who, who got the, who's, who's translation says, says old man? Heard somebody, there we go. Oh, old man, yeah. Yeah. Which are old, old men. The, the, guys, the guys who have been counseling and giving his dad advice for years, the wisest man for the understanding, he had a crew he had to went to talk to. That's what I'm saying. So it wasn't like it just came down, it came down, you know God gave some stuff. But you, if you're going to walk in wisdom and understanding, there's some folks you talk to. Yeah. Yeah. You know how people, they get a little smart, they think they know a lot. No, you don't. Yeah. I don't care what PhD you got. Right. Right. Yeah. There's somebody you got to talk to. Yeah. There's some friend. There's somebody you got to. Let me run this by you real quick. Yeah. I know because I know you got understanding. Mm -hmm. I know you have knowledge. I know you done been through some stuff. Right. Amen. Think about it. Think about it, young men and young women. Amen. Not going to my peer. Hey, man, what you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Man, my mom and daddy trip. What? Oh, God. <laughs> they don't have a clue. Then you, was it the blind leading the blind? Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Verse 8 said, but he ignored the advice 
which the elders gave him and consulted the young men who grew up with him and served him. So he went to his homeboy. He said to them, and there's a there's, man, I like this part right here. He said to them, what do you advise that we answer this people who said to me, lighten the yoke and burden which your father put on us? It's crazy because it's not the same question that he asked the old folks. Yeah, look at it. Just read it. Just keep reading. How are you going to tell me how to answer them? Wisdom said, the old folks said, hey man, if you do this, if you do it like this, man, and be nice to them, Lord, attach a little bit, that serve you forever. Go to his homeboys and say, hey, what do I say to him? What you mean, what do I say to him? You ain't no king. You don't have a clue? How you gonna tell me? That's what I, I trip sometimes, you know, especially in the business world. Have you had somebody tell me, this is what you say to them? And I get frustrated because I be like, I don't need you to help me talk. I'm, I'm just asking you for some advice. Lord's still working on me. <laughs> I didn't ask you to tell me what I need to say. I just asked you for some counsel. Come on, man. You know how people think you got, this is what you say. Oh, man, okay, listen. I didn't ask what I need to say. I just asked how they gonna do this. That's all I ask. I know what to say. And then people have relationships, they be like, come on, my bad, my bad. I know you don't know it. Well, okay, I know it, just, just, I just need, I need some insight. I don't need to say what you need to say. I, don't, I, I, I know what I gotta say, okay, I'm sorry. Who still gets stuff out my chest? He said, but he ignored the advice of the elders. In verse nine, he said to them, what do you advise that I answer this people who have said this to me, lightly the yoga? But this is crazy because if you have one friend who would have said, man, we don't know you the king. Or have one friend say, man, we don't understand. You know, your daddy built all this. <laughs> your daddy did this. You didn't do this. Yeah. One friend. Just have one. You know what these boys say? This is what these boys say. The young man who have grew Grew up with him answering, this is what you should say to this people who told you. What? Advice. Mm. Your father, and this is what they tell this boy to say. He said, your father made our yoke heavy. But as for you, make your, our yoke lighter. Say this to them. My little finger is thicker than my father's loins. Wow. Man, you're a trust fund baby. Wow. <laughs> you mean you ain't done nothing. Your daddy built all this. Wow. You should have took them three days and went through some historical content of who your father was. But you talk about my daddy's loins for man. Be quiet. Y'all don't get it. But he didn't say it. Listen. And my reign will be even more severe. Severe? <laughs> Jamaica, we got everything. Mm. They got everything, y'all. Mm. He don't even see what's going on in front of him. Wise counsel had told him, hey man, you answer these people right because they see Jeroboam that showed up. It's already been a setup. That's what they that's what he's not getting. It's already set up. And he called Jeroboam out of Egypt. This is how slick this is, y'all. Man, mm, mm, mm. And this is why, the reason why I love the work. So this is how slick they did this. So Sheba came. Where's Sheba from? Did you say Italy? <laughs> Where's Sheba from? Where's Sheba from? Where's Sheba from? Where's she from? Where's she from? Where's she from? Where's she from? Now think about, man, you see how slick they did this? So Jeroboam was in Egypt. Sheba came from Egypt. You know how you been, you know how you tell somebody in the streets, like, man, they came, listen. She was, it's all adding up. Wow. So they had been setting up, waiting for his daddy to die. Whoa. All he got is one heir. Waterhead. Uh. That's all he got is waterhead. Mm. 
Out of all them, again, out of all them women, he got one. Wow. Yeah. He got one. Wow. So Zia looking like, what? <laughs> Man, that's what that's what happened. Yeah. And it's big, he was setting it up. Yeah. And you remember he thought he had and this is Solomon, the wisest man in the earth. He thought him and the Pharaoh was cool. You remember the Pharaoh? Man, this ain't even on here, but this is good. That's why I be reading. Mm -hmm. The Pharaoh, remember, they, he thought he was a god anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't going to be subject to nobody. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can send Sheba down there. And mm -hmm. I can send, you know, send him a girl down there. Mm -hmm. You know how they set up. I send him a woman down there. Dude, mm -hmm. man, everything you got, baby, is beautiful. They lied and said, man, this, this is... Imac, I'm gonna bring you gold. I'm a, his ego, his pride. Wow. I don't know what y'all doing. What y'all doing right there? Okay. His ego, his pride, all that stuff. It creeped in. Mm -hmm. Then complacency. Mm -hmm. It creeps in. Yeah, man. You miss church every right. once in a while. Come on, baby. Right. Say it now. Right. Say it now. Yes. Yes. Right. So. That's good. Y'all saying the same thing. It's good. You know, every, every once you know you you know you 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 own the you own the routine of let me man. I gotta get up. I gotta start my day off in the word. I gotta drive the car. I can't listen to ESPN or K one hundred and four or ninety seven point nine. Before I listen to those, I'm gonna start off in the word. And then it begins to slowly creep in. It's amazing. It slowly creeps in. The wisest man on the earth, this is what you do. See. The man full of understanding, and this is what happens. Wow. Literally, y'all remember Solomon said, God, hey, teach me how to deal with your people. Yeah. And God said, you know what? I like that. I like your prayer. Yes. I'm going to give you that. And I'm gonna give you everything. Listen. Verse 11 says, And now, whereas my father loaded you with the heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I'm gonna discipline you with scorpions. He lost it. He crazy. Watch this one though. But they know he's weak. Think about it. They know he weak. You're not in Jerusalem. You're in Shechem. You can't even come to the capital. So he's not even starting off right. Wow. So we know you weak. We putting Jeroboam in front of you. And he's speaking for us. It's amazing when you start thinking about pride. You think you tough? You're not tough. Yeah. <laughs> You're not smart. Yeah. The enemy been here. I, I bet you, man. I'm just man. The enemy been here longer than you. Man, y'all better leave that stuff alone. Yes, man. Come on. <laughs> Stability. Yes. That's what kids. I want you guys to hear, young men. Young women, stability may be born, but you will be alive. You will have money. Yeah. Yeah. Your car be paid off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. Lights on. Right. Stability. Yeah. Just because everybody else got something. I, man, please. And then the system that we live in. That's why I like talking about this stuff. The system that we live in, they know, man, let me just keep showing them. Let me keep showing them. Let me keep showing them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think it was, uh, I think the 60s, there were 15-year loans. Amen. It was 15-year loan. Mm -hmm. And cars came out. They didn't come out like once every like the iphone come out like you get a new iphone then it's it's old because the new one then came out yeah and it's how how phone <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody told me nobody didn't this is just the holy spirit work how phone called fifteen hundred dollars 
Right. Oh, how phone call down now? Yeah. I'm just asking. I'm just. I'm, don't, don't nobody try to hide your phone because they were going off just a while ago in the service. How is a phone costing a thousand dollars? Right. How you paying? A car though. On the phone. Whoa. On the phone, phone y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sorry. Like literally, y'all, I want a flip phone. My wife won't let me get a flip phone. I know, man. You got a flip phone? I didn't tell you broke. Oh, you know they got they got my team up for hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> they got for hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. I think it's ninety seven. Yeah. Ninety nine. Ninety-seven, ninety-nine. Good old flip phone. Jerry, exact. I want you. I'm glad. That's pretty good, mom. That's pretty. Hey, y'all. Think about what she just said. She said Jerry Jones got a flip phone. Mm -hmm. A billionaire. Times over. Mm -hmm. That's how he conduct himself on the flip phone. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the majority of my business partners, they got flip phones. <laughs> Elijah got Elijah got a flip phone. Right. He was just happy to have a phone. Thank you. It was auxiliary. I remember I said it's the auxiliary phone. It's not really his, because I can go in it. It well even if it was his, I'm gonna go into it anyway. But that phone it stays downstairs. Uh -huh. I'm looking through text. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is this? What's going on? Uh -huh. What uh, one of his friends, they were talking, can I tell you a little bit of your business about Katie? Uh -huh. So one of his oh I said his name. I didn't say his last name. So one of his friends, hey, he can hoop. He said they were talking about some girls. He said, man, you ain't gonna get no girls. You got a flip phone. I said, man. <laughs> no, he did. Yeah, he did. A lot of fresh though. You mean he said, yeah, baby, right. yeah. yeah, I said, baby, you gotta have more than a flip phone. You gotta have a conversation or something. Yeah, yeah. That ain't gonna work. A flip phone. They gonna look at your flip phone. <laughs> my bad, my bad. You good? It's okay. That's what happens when your kids is raised in the church. It's okay. My daddy used to come up here and tell all the time I was in jail. Everybody come about, oh yeah. And she act like she, mama act like, uh, you know, y'all pray for Malcolm. He locked up. <laughs> Please, I come, I come home. Hey man, how you doing? We heard you locked up. <laughs> <laughs> it was a ticket. It wasn't the other stuff. Man, you can tell people. Yeah, leave. Now the other stuff got into. Okay, we're back. So the insight. The insight. I want you guys to take take this because we about to be done. Oh yeah. Wow. Y'all look at the time. Wow. Come back. <laughs> the insight. You remember all. Listen. All great leaders start off with humility. Uh, it's amazing when you look at Vladimir Putin, mm -hmm. how he started off. Right. Mm -hmm. He just wanted Russian nation to be noticed. Yeah. He wanted them to be, hey, y'all, y'all consider us. Wow. And then it began to expand, mm -hmm. expand. Mm -hmm. We want more territory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Let all the oligarchs run with their money. We're going to take this money over here. We're going to do this over here. And we're looking right before our eyes at the demise of a guy. Again, we're not. But he started off with humility. He started off with humility. He started off, think about it. He started off coming over here talking to everybody. He was welcomed. At Camp David, people get mad. He's at Camp David talking, shaking hands. Listen, all great leaders start off with humility. God always keeps his promises. Yes. It's, 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 uh, it's steady to know that God always keeps his promises. Because you got to think, what he told David. Well, hey, man, if your kids do what they're supposed to do, it's always going to be one of your babies on the throne. Mm -hmm. Solomon started tripping and said, you know what, Solomon? Because you done did all this, I'm not going to take it all away from you. I'm going to let y'all keep Israel. Because I made a promise to your daddy. Yeah, daddy. 
Kids, mm -hmm. some of y'all haven't got bust in the head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got a little money in your pocket. You walk around with all these new shoes on. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, I'm a shoe freak. Get it fresh. So I can get some of those. Because <laughs> God made a promise to your mamas and to your daddies. Yeah. And so if they're working their tail off, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. God made a promise. And so again, when you look at Roabon, his attitude, I'm going through again this stage with Elijah. And I'm I'm because he's 12. Yeah. And hallelujah, thank you. Parents, we have to adjust. Yeah. yeah. We gotta adjust, guys. Um I thought the strict and I, I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still there. But there's some understanding that I have to have with my child. Yes. Yes. And so the things that he dealt with, I didn't deal with. Right. Right. That's yeah. right. That's right. And so what my dad would have kicked me in the mouth for, Amen. I don't kick him in the mouth. I have a talk to him, yes. mm -hmm. and we continue to adjust his behavior, That's fine. and then if I have to kick him in the mouth, I already done told you, yeah, okay. I done gave you, I, I didn't, but I, I haven't had to kick him in the mouth. And this probably won't be able to post it, because they probably say we were abusing children on here. <laughs> so, but y'all know what I'm talking about with the kicking in. Okay, all right. So they probably won't, so this will be, uh, yeah, YouTube will take this off, probably. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, it's all right. It'll just be for us. We'll send it out. Just to us, just to us. Yeah, it'll just be for us. <laughs> He's talking about kicking kids in the mouth. They've been pastoring Dennis and Texas. <laughs> so I'm adjusting. And uh, the, 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 the biggest thing, again, as I'm learning, is I have to keep in communication with them. So I never want the communication to stop because communication is always happening. Amen. Think, think about what I just said. Yeah. Communication is always happening. It's either through social media, it's either through whatever, it's, it's, but it's always happening. And when you look at raw bone, communication is still the same, the, the, it's still the basics. Yeah. Yeah. It's still the basics. And so as we're growing as parents and seeing things happen, yes. man, y'all keep that line of communication open with your kids. Yes. Amen. You got to keep it open. Yes. If they get mad and walk off, oh. they get mad and walk off, I'm not going to stop being a parent. Amen. But we're going to have a discussion about Amen. this stuff. Yes. Yes. All the parents, I would suggest right now today, you don't got to do it in here, look at your kids' phone. Amen. Amen. I don't care if they're paying for them or not. Ooh, everybody looked around. So one of these babies just looked like, oh, everybody. Yeah, just look through your kid's phone. Don't turn back around because you already you messed it up. You, you could have deleted all the stuff, but you turned around. <laughs> Remember I told y'all how to do y'all just keep looking straight. He, he, right here is mumbling like, man, I'm going to get in. Yeah. No, don't do it. Just keep looking straight. Just keep looking straight. And then go. <laughs> go to your kid's phone. You got to. You got to. Because there's some communication going on that y'all don't know about. And it may, you know, <laughs> oh, they all oh, she like, oh, they put it in. <laughs> go through it. I'm saying can't go through it. And then to have a talk about it. Oh, he looking like me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you graduated. You all right? You, 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 you eighteen, right? And you still, she still go to their phone. Just let you know. So go on, go on. Start to. You can do it with one hand. Yeah. And you, oh, you still. You can do what? Okay. So here, kids, they had it. They got to get wisdom and understanding. They can still find it if it's deleted. I'm trying to help y'all. Okay, right here, so you can still find it, it if it's deleted. Disappear. It don't disappear. Yeah, it don't disappear. Ooh. Think about, ooh, 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 think about it. It don't disappear. 
I had a friend of mine tell me, say, hey man, uh, oh. his, 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 his no. child was doing something and she, it, it was it was online. Mm -hmm. And he said, I had to tell him, he said, baby, that don't never go away. No. <laughs> it, it never, who said incognito mode? They still trying to figure out how to do it. It's not going to work. Man. It's all the one with the flip phone, you got an iPhone? All right. Yeah. He said, look, you got iPhone, what, four? Got it. All right, so God keeps it. Y'all come back now. I told you I'm done. All right, God always keeps his promises. Are we only temporary promise keepers? Are we only temporary promise keepers? But they still think about them phones. It's going damn left the Lord. Everybody nervous. They nervous. I ain't going back to church next Sunday. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on the Holy Spirit. All right. You must continue to work on your relationship with God. If you don't, it is inevitable that you will slip and you may not recover. Now watch this one. Watch this one. Even the show enough believers slip. Yeah. We slip. Yeah. Yeah. I think I slipped a couple days ago. Oh. Yeah. Did I? I did. I did. Did I apologize? No. <laughs> hey man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm. God working on me. Man, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> man, you know that that disrespect thing and, and, and doing your face and talking crazy. I'm working on that. You no, know, I be ticking like okay. No, I be ticking. I be ticking. I be like whoa, whoa, because you know I, I I always start off. I would never be disrespectful. You would never be able to blame it on me. So if you go a certain place, man, oh Lord, please, Jesus, please, Lord, oh, oh. All right, advice, advice, evaluating advice. Listen, if you get advice from anyone, ask if it's realistic. I don't care who the advice comes from. Ask like, okay, is that, you know, you ain't got to just, you know, there, there's a term uh, that we all need to use. And uh, it's a good old churchy term. It's a little, little, little more contemporary. But, you know, somebody says something to you and I'd be like, hmm, I don't receive that. <laughs> and they look and get the bleak and you, you, you can't speak that over me. Hmm, I receive that. Yeah, you got, you know, some truck, man, I don't receive that. The Lord told me to tell you. Well, he would have told me first, wouldn't he? <laughs> who, the, who are you to come tell me what God said? And then that ain't nothing. What? Hmm. But you know what? I'm not going to go off on you. <laughs> but I am going to say, I don't receive that. Yeah. You can take it how you want it after that. Yeah. All right? So listen, we got, so evaluate if the advice, think about this, kids. Think about this. If it's really realistic. Mm -hmm. And then, elders, if you're giving advice, let me consider. Yeah, let, let me consider because they're asking me some, for some advice. Let me see if this, if, if this is applicable mm -hmm. to their life like it was in mine. Because, again, it's not the same. Yeah, right. It's not the God. It's not. It's not the same. Um, all right, I ain't gonna go there. And then, when getting advice, ask: Is it workable? Think about: it. Is it workable? So, number one is: Is it realistic? Number two: Is it workable? And then, this is probably one of the most important things: Is it consistent with biblical principles? Wow. There you go. Yeah. I'm right. Right. Is that consistent with biblical principles? I need to repeat it. Got some people still writing down. Well, good, y'all got, got. I tried to do like three words at the first, one word, on, but is it consistent with the biblical principles? And this, this is also with getting advice and and getting it and evaluating it. Seek counsel. Seek counsel from those more experienced and wiser 
Think about what I just said, kids. Yes. Seek counsel from those more experienced and wiser. I was going to bring a, a Father's Day um, card that Elijah gave to me. And he said, uh, and I, I may bring it. Man, I left it. Literally, it's something. And it said, Dad knows about something. And, it, and, and you open it up. It says, you know, about haircuts. You know, about mowing the lawn. You know, about, and it just goes through. And so as I'm learning, I, I, I guys, again, as I'm learning, me and my kid, me and my kids, this may, at some point, I'm, I, I'm always dad. Yeah. But I'm also a friend. Yeah. Listen. Because yeah. when, at the, oh, you know, there, there used to be a saying, you can't be your kid's yeah. friends. Yeah. I'm always his dad. Always. Yeah. I'm always his, I'm always, but there are certain things we were, uh, let me give you this example. We, we were in, in the principal's office, nothing for nothing bad. And the principal said, oh, you, baby, you don't know your daddy, your best friend. Yeah. And one of the counselors said, oh, and she was trying to say it under, no, we don't believe in that. She was a sister. And I got to thinking about it, and the discussions, listen, the discussions that me and my son have, He's not having these discussions with his friends. Come on, come on. That's right. Think about what I'm saying. He having this discussion with his friend. He telling me, and and again, because of, of our relationship, I can say it in front of him. He telling me all their business. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> yeah. all, all the dirt. And I'm not saying, man, don't do that. Don't hang out. I'm like, no, well, baby, listen. So when you go back to raw bone. Come on. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what to say. I'm going to tell you how to handle this. Yeah, I'm going to tell you how to maneuver through this. Yeah, right, right. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Man, if my parent man, I was fighting every week. We, Daddy didn't play that. Mm -mm. Mama knew people business. Tell them this. Maybe that is. <laughs> she was defending her child. As I say, you grow, you learn, you see like, oh, okay, I, need, I, I just need to listen to my child right here. Even though I want to kick him in the forehead, even though I want to say, man, you are, this is the wrong route. Like, you know the wrong route. So, again, I want you guys to consider your relationship with God and faith. Relationship with God and faith. He loves your children more than you do. Matter of fact, he loves you more than you love you. So with these kids, man, I'm trying to help y'all before y'all get this phone open. These kids, <laughs> they nervous. I'm up here sweating. They sweating. These kids, y'all, y'all, listen to them. L listen, listen, see what's going on. See how to maneuver. Yeah. See what's a. Hey. Yeah. And it, it hit me. I was like, "Wow, okay." Again, we spend uh, we spend so much time together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about it's nonstop training here, practice here, yeah. driving here, yeah. going there, yeah. flying here. You got to play here. It's just me and him. Yes. Yes. And I'm learning. I'm, le I'm, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm like, okay, hold on, man. I can't, I can't tell him to do that. Because that, that's going to mess up his relationships with the whole team. Yeah. If, I, if, if, if I say go on, let him have it. Yeah. Come on, baby. They kids. Yeah. Think I tell my kid they kids. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I tell my kid, man, y'all, yeah. he don't understand what being a leader is. That's right. They don't know what to say. Well, Dad, I want to get them. No, you can't get them because no, leave them alone. Just relax. Right. And then you got to think. Fifteen seconds later, <laughs> they're on the PlayStation playing. Yes. Right. If I would have went my route. 
I mean, we blowing up everything. You know what I'm saying? Behind some words. Listen. Again, y'all, think about these kids. Think about how much your parents love you. Think about what they're doing for you. Think about what they're providing for you. And Rawbone messed that up. Because what he did was he got counsel. They didn't love Rawbone. They daddy built all that. They daddy They daddy was subjects. Man, I'm about to be done in about two seconds. Seek counsel from those who are more experienced and wiser. Again, advice is only helpful if it is consistent with God's standard. Did you enjoy today's message? Please give a love offering. Simply go to NewTestamentBibleChurch.com, click the online giving link, and click Give Now. Type in your amount and complete the rest of the form. Thank you for your donation. The journey of life is often unpredictable, and it is important to know your purpose in it. Receive Jesus today and learn about his plan for you. He is eagerly waiting to be a part of your life. The first step is salvation. Read Romans 10 and 9 and repeat this prayer. God in heaven, I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross for me and that you raised him from the dead. Jesus, I call on you now as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me of all my sins. I will trust and follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. We look forward to you joining us for our next broadcast. Have a blessed week.